Hello, hello. I am Bridget Rowe. I am energy. I am powerful and I am who I say I am. The purpose of this video is to talk about walking into goddess energy, feminine energy. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this particular video is because I know that when I started my journey, for those of you that have been following me, my older videos, which I still keep up, I don't look the same. I don't exude the same type of energy because during my journey, I tapped into my feminine energy. And in tapping into feminine energy by working with the goddess Ashun, I became more organic, more lifelike, more sexy, more intuitive, more loving, more receiving, more understanding. And I want to shine light on those aspects of being a feminine woman exuding that type of energy because there are some women who may want a man. I'm not talking about lesbian women, but they may want a man, but they are being a man. They are exuding masculine energy and might not understand what the problem is. And I want to shine light on the yin and yang aspect and, and the law of gender in this particular video because the law of gender exists and it states that all must have masculine and feminine principles. See, we collectively just being woman, woman exudes both feminine, masculine energy at certain times in the physical reality because one is probably necessary at a certain time. Just like men, they have, they exude both feminine and masculine energies too, because it is necessary at the time. When a man is younger, he might have a burst of testosterone at that time in his life. But as he matures and become pawpaw, he's more settled, more calm, and more understanding, and less of that testosterone. And there's no different with a woman. She might start off with feminine energy in the beginning of her journey, but as she gets to her 40 year old stage, she turns into what they call the Kruger, you know, some of us, some don't, but for the majority of what I'm trying to point out here is that both have both feminine and masculine principles and it exists in everything, you know, animals, you know, fruit, fruit, for example, you know, all things have this yin and the yang, like a watermelon, for example. The round watermelon is the feminine. And then if you get a long watermelon, that's the masculine. And the round ones, the interesting thing about the round ones is that they're sweeter than the long ones. Because the law of gender exists in all things. And the reason why I wanted to point that out is because sometimes, you know, all things are energy, but sometimes a woman can wonder, well, why, why did this person run away from me? Well, maybe it could be that your masculine energy of you doing so much ran that man away, of you leading the relationship, of you trying to be the provider in the relationship. You are trying to take on the masculine principle. And the man, he's trying to be the masculine principle as far as the law of gender is, is concerned. And so both of you are button heads with each other. It's like two sumo wrestlers in the room. So the relationship is not going to work. Now, this is the thing about it. As a woman... If you are exuding masculine energy and that's all you know and in, in, in all that you, <laughs> that you go know and you're not going to change nothing about yourself, just understand this one thing. You will never attract an alpha male. You're only going to attract feminine men who are going to receive all of the work that you do, all of the chasing that you do behind them, all of the providing that you do for them. <laughs> because the law of gender says it's going to be male and female principles. 
So if you are that type of woman that wants a provider, an alpha male, somebody that's going to protect you and, and, and profess their love for you in a masculine energy type way, then you must assume the role of being a feminine energy type woman. And that means you have to be on the receiving end of it all. On the soft end of it all. <laughs> on the intuitive. Love. Wet, organic, sexy <laughs> end of it all. And so that is the difference because we have here yin and yang. We have masculine and feminine. So the masculine is always going to be the hard. The feminine is going to be soft. Masculine is going to be loud. <laughs> the feminine is going to be the low. Masculine is going to be the provider. The feminine is going to be the receiver. Masculine is going to be the logical. The feminine is going to be the intuitive. Masculine is the sun. The feminine is the moon. It exists in all things. So you, along your journey, it, is, it, is, it, it becomes meaningful for you to choose which side as a woman you choose to be on. And I will tell you, like in my particular journey... In two situations where you really could pay attention to this is when you have girlfriends that are married and you look at the dynamic of their relationship. You might have that one girlfriend that's married to a masculine man and he's the head in that relationship. And then there's this other girlfriend and she is masculine energy and she's running the show. You can see the dynamic of how things go. You could decide where you want to be. Or you could get you some girlfriends. You know, if you're single and you go out with your girlfriends, you get your little ghetto little girlfriend <laughs> who know how to party. No judgment here. Good person. Always dress loud when y'all go out. Always screaming for attention with the colors and the way that they walk and the way that they talk and carry themselves. But then get you one of those bougie girlfriends too. Now you got to go out with your bougie girlfriend too. And you can see her class, her poise, hmm, her softness, her receiving, her essence, her smell, her aura. And compare the two and decide where you want to fit in because there will always be masculine and feminine. And even if we're talking about the dynamics of a lesbian relationship, let's talk about somebody that everybody knows, Ellen DeGeneres and Portia. Beautiful couple, beautiful couple. And Ellen in the couple, in the relationship rather, she exudes the masculine energy. She the one, she wear the little blazers with her little flats, you know, and her little moose and push her hair back or whatever. Dressing more like masculine energy, you know, with the jeans. Well, Portia, Portia is representing the feminine energy because you'll still see her looking like a woman dressing with her gowns. Even though these are two women in the dynamic of a relationship, the law of gender states that there must be male and there must be female principles. <laughs> it don't matter if they bumping cats or do whatever they do in their privacy of their home. There must be male. They must be female principles. And this goes for men too, you know, because they're always going to have one that's giving and one receiving in the dynamic of, of two men being together in a relationship. Look, this video is not about gays or lesbians. It's about the law of gender. It's about you understanding where you fit in the pieces of the puzzle. If you want masculine, you have to be feminine and soft. If you want feminine, then you go head on and just be masculine. The choice is up to you, but it exists. And there's no escaping this law of gender. It exists in all things. From the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you receive. Just just, just the other day I was at the uh, red light. 
<laughs> and they had the power lines and they had the little birds just, you know, flying around. You could tell even the birds of the air understand this law of gender. And so I was sitting there and I was looking up at the birds and you could always tell the masculine bird, you know, the male bird, because he come around, he flapping his wings. All of the little birds on the power line just sitting there. The little female bird just sitting there. He come, he gotta, he gotta flap his wing. He gotta be loud. <laughs> he gotta get the attention. But the female bird understand this intuitively already, the masculine and female principle. And so he flaps. And the female bird, all she does is. And then she hop over a little bit further over on the power line. And she just being, just being graceful, just receiving, letting him do the work and just sitting back and just being. Because they understand, they understand the dynamic of the feminine and masculine. Animals understand it too. You know, that male dog will almost break his neck jumping over the fence to get to that female dog. You don't, you don't see the female dog jumping over the fences to go find the vitamin D. <laughs> in any case, you choose wisely on which side you going to play, whether you're woman or man. It doesn't matter. I'm not here to judge you. You do what you want to do in your journey. But this video was dedicated to those people or those women, for example, who say, why? What is wrong with me? Why am I running them off? But maybe it's because you too much of the masculine energy and you too much of chasing them. See, a man, well, a young man will let you. He'll let you run behind him and he'll take some of that ass from you. <laughs> if you're trying to be the masculine energy, he'll take that ass. But then after a moment, he'll be like, wait, whoa, Kimo Sabe. <laughs> That's my role. After a moment, that will turn that young man off. Unless he's just a feminine young man and he likes to receive from you your masculine qualities. But a real man? An alpha man? Mm -mm. No. An alpha man gonna need you to be soft. Gonna need you to be wool man. Gonna need you to be feminine exuding that aura at all times. An interesting thing that happened in our physical reality is sometimes life can force us to get into our masculine role and exude masculine energy when we become single mothers and we have to become the provider and the protector. When we are in corporate America and we are trying to compete with the men and climb the corporate ladder because we want success, more than we want to be a woman. And some of us may have gone this route simply because we never was taught it at home because mama exuded masculine energy. Mama ran the house. Mama ran over daddy. If daddy was there. Or if daddy wasn't there, mama was just that masculine energy woman. So we have young women and men who have experienced this as little girls and little boys and that's what they think it's supposed to be like. And I'm not saying it, that is a wrong way of being. My purpose of this video is to talk to the women who want masculine men. And so that you could identify what type of aura, what type of energy are you exuding? Because if you are exuding masculine energy, the only type of men in your circle are going to be feminine men who are ready to receive from you. Not until you step back and exude that feminine energy and learn how to be softer, more intuitive, will the men show up, the masculine men. So it is up to you. If you're going to be a feminine woman or a masculine woman, but know the difference. And so this is all energy that I'm talking about. So energy cannot be created or destroyed. If you are a masculine woman, what you can do is transform that energy. You could transform that energy and use it at another time instead of in the dynamic of a relationship. 
you can use that energy when nobody is around, you know? Like you could be soft and easy and, and, and intuitive around your male partner, but when he go to work, you could put a chair behind the door. <laughs> put a chair behind the door and just clean the ceiling fan or clean the chandelier or whatever. Just make sure that nobody can come in and catch you unless you have one of those alarms that'll chirp when somebody opened up the door. <laughs> And, and you cleaning that ceiling fan and you doing something out of the norm of the feminine energy is a way for you. What I'm saying is to transfer that, 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 that masculine energy, to release that masculine energy when nobody is around. And then later on that day, you could be like, oh, babe, the cleaning service came and, and they valued us being such a regular customer that they decided to clean the chandelier. Look how beautiful it is, babe. It's sparkling. Do you like it? And you will go back into your feminine role, knowing in the back of your mind, you just did that. That was your masculine energy that you needed to release. You can release it at times when the man is not present is what I'm saying to you. And, what, and when he won't find out because you have to do something with the energy. It's not going to be destroyed. You can't be cutting grass one day and just turn around and just want to wear dresses because you're going to get bored with that is what I'm saying. So learn how and when to transform the energy. One more thing I want to share with you the other day. The other day I went to the store. The other day I went to the store and I get this particular water that's always at the top. It's always at the top of the shelf, this water that I buy. And so I love to go to this particular show because I know this particular store because I know the water is going to be at the top of the shelf. And it is this moment where I could just look around and just find a man. To come and help me to exude my feminine energy to to be a woman in need you know and so i get to this particular end of the aisle and i look around but this particular day i didn't see nobody close to me to uh get the water none of the customers no employee no tall man that was able to reach it because i'm only five two in the physical reality and so I went over and I got one of the waters, the very first one, because I really honestly cannot reach this water. But the first one was, you know, I got on my tippy toes to reach the first one. And so I go to get in line. And as I'm in line, I asked the little short lady, and the lady, she's shorter than me. I was like, is there any men that work here today? Because I, I want to get four more cases of this water. And so I was ringing it up. I rung up all five of them while she was going to go and see if there was another male worker. Now, I didn't ask her to do it. Meanwhile, there's this man in line in front of me. And I told him, I said, oh, I saw you from a distance, but you were so far away. I really needed you to help me with this water because I couldn't reach it. And you're so tall. And he said to me, he smiled and he said to me, I would have got it for you. Where is it? I told him what aisle it was on. He said, watch my stuff. I'm going to go get it for you. And I was like, okay, I just told the little short lady, the little worker. And so maybe she she's over there. It's, and I told him the name of it. And he saw it in my basket, that one that I had grabbed. So now him and the lady go and get the water for me. I wanted four more. He came back first with nothing, and then I saw her coming. But when I saw him coming, I was like, what happened? Did somebody else take it? And he smiled. He's like, no, she got it. And there, the young lady who was shorter than me, she had the water in her hand. Now, four cases of water she's carrying. You know, they had these little hooks on the water, so she had two underneath her her arm and then the, holding the little hooks on the case itself. And I was like, what happened? What are you doing? And she said, oh, I climbed. And I said, with feminine energy, I said, oh my gosh, you climbed. <laughs> and the man, when I said that, the man started laughing and she was like, yeah, I just climbed up there. And I turned around and I looked at him and I was like, oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you wanting or being eager to help me. And I turned around and I looked at her and I'm like, lady, 
or young lady because she's a young lady. You know, she was a little girl and she she's not there in her journey probably just yet. But I I address, I um, exaggerated it just a little extra so that maybe one day in her physical reality, she'll understand what feminine energy is all about. Now, let me tell you, if nobody was in there, if they didn't have no cameras, <laughs> if I didn't see no men, if a, a storm was coming or something like that, I wouldn't have been asking no cashier or nobody to go get no water for me. I probably would have climbed too. <laughs> but what I'm saying is learn when to exude that feminine and masculine energy. If a man is around that could come and save you, that can come and help you, let him help you if you want to exude the feminine energy. If not, you can be that woman that walk around with that energy that says, don't save me because I don't want to be saved. I'm just going to climb at the top and get my own water. It's up to you. Be blessed.